What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here, and welcome to another Universes Mini, where we'll be discussing the author's word on certain characters, as well as gag feats. I know they seem unrelated, but you'll see later on how they feed into each other. In case you haven't heard the recent news, Dante is not universal. Yep, that's right. I mean, I personally never believed it in the first place, but for those who did and used Versus Battles Wiki as an example, go check Dante's page. Go ahead, huh? Go ahead, check it right now. You'll see that all of his Universal stats are gone because someone stepped up and challenged Universal Dante and they disproved it easily. The reason people even believed in Universal Dante in the first place is because someone asked the creator, Hideki Kamiya, on Twitter about his battle with Mundus and he responded, Universe. Just the word, universe, and everybody freaked out. Ah, Universal Dante! Well, that didn't last long because the user who disproved Universal Dante brought up a bunch of Hideki Kamiya's other tweets. Almost any versus question you ask Hideki Kamiya, he replies with, Could be. Could be. Could be. Ask your mom. Ask your mom. Could be. Ask your mom. And at one point he even says, Stop asking me who would win questions, he's tired of them. He, he clearly doesn't care about verses. When creators make their characters, they don't really care about verses or look into how the verses community goes. That's the last thing they look into when making a character. Also, it can totally ruin and spoil their plot. For example, one of Seth the Programmer's friends was harassing a Dragon Ball Z writer on Twitter. I know harassing sounds like a bit of an over-exaggeration, but he was constantly spamming this writer with questions like, can Goku destroy the universe? They hinted at Goku destroying the universe, and he was responding with things like, maybe if he becomes a deity of destruction like Beerus, or even if he could, he wouldn't do it, or Zeno is the only one that can destroy the universe. This poor writer is trying as hard as he can to keep whatever plot he has secret, and this user is just bugging him for, is Goku universal? This writer is trying his absolute best to get it through their heads that Goku isn't universal, and then Seth just writes off the author saying, well, Goku is universal, and it just seems like this writer is saying he isn't, probably because maybe he used Google Translator or something. So they spammed a writer asking him if Goku was universal, and when he didn't give them the answer they wanted, they just wrote him off as being wrong. So what was even the point? They asked him, he responded with a clear answer, but nope. He, he It's clear he isn't sure what he's talking about, he's, he's just being vague, oh no. But then I bet if the writer said that Goku was universal, they'd listen completely and not assume anything was wrong and throw a house party or something over it. And that's why you shouldn't really go to the author for versus questions, because one, versus isn't really their focus when making a character, so they wouldn't really know the answers. And two, it's harassing the author, which isn't cool. Authors just have characters do things without really thinking who would win in a fight. And this is where the gag feats come in. After my SpongeBob vs. Larry Boy episode, I had a bunch of comments leaking to this particular scene in an episode called Home Sweet Pineapple. I was aware of this episode when I made my matchup and didn't include it because it's clearly a gag feat. Now, in the episode, Spongebob's house gets eaten by nematodes and he's trying to rebuild it. This is where the feat comes in. When Spongebob's screwing in a pipe, it makes the entire screen turn as Patrick slides off and falls or whatever, and the entire screen rotates around as Spongebob's screwing in the pipe with a monkey wrench. And somehow, they took that to believe Spongebob was turning the entire planet, thus making him planet level. When making that scene, the writers didn't go, Hey, let's show that Spongebob is strong enough to turn the Earth. They were thinking, ha, wouldn't it be funny if Spongebob turned the screen when screwing and Patrick fell down? It was a joke, and the next feat I got for Spongebob didn't even make sense. Someone tried to tell me Spongebob was star level, because in the beginning of the episode titled Best Day Ever, the sun comes in Spongebob's window and basically lights his room on fire. First of all, the sun was underwater. Second of all, it was small enough to fit in Spongebob's window. How is that star level? It's clearly not our own son, and it was clearly a joke. So as you can see, a lot of the times, writers are not thinking about verses. They just write things to write things because they're being creative, and that's what they like to do. Trying to get them to bound and limit their universe to a certain strength by asking them how powerful a character is is just scummy. Let them write what they want and do your own research. Don't be lazy and ask them.